Hi guys, welcome back to Mum and Cook's Homemade and what we eat in a week. This is rabbit food. These are homemade air fried croutons. They were so good. <laughs> Why we never thought to do them before, I don't know, but they were absolutely delicious. And then we had some food on the plate anyway, but the <laughs> croutons were gorgeous. And it was super seeded bread. These are homemade pizzas. So that's the kids. And then Steve did obviously a bigger one for us and it's fully loaded with everything except the kitchen sink so this is in Friday's um, day in the life of the kitchen it is that one pot recipe so that's last Friday's video if you want to have a good look at that that was the minced beef hot pot with some tender stem and that was really nice you have to have i don't care what sort of burger it is it's got to be in there once a week this is the chicken thigh that we love so much onion rings and chips not homemade chips this was an easy tea so yeah that suited me down down to the ground spag ball garlic bread what can i say you can't get better you can't get better than a quick dinner so Oh, I'm just topping up here my, uh, that's semolina, my roast potato coating. The roast potato saga yesterday, guys. Oh, I tell you. And panko, and then I chuck in a load of herbs. So the taters, parboiled as usual, and they all turn black. All of them. I had to throw them all away and get a bag of baby potatoes out of the fridge and roast cut, chop them in half and roast them couldn't believe it they all turned black don't know what it is with the potatoes that i got from the veg shop but oh that's twice now i'm not, not quite sure why anyway i have a large kasori that i'm reviewing so thank you to kasori for that i did one on a smaller one this is a bigger one um this is the blaze so if you've got any ideas you would like me to try for the kasori oh just put them in the comment section and we will try them out i'll pick three from that that i like and i'll run a poll and um, we'll put them in the video. Also, if you've got any ideas for what you'd like to see now in the Friday's Day in the Life of My Kitchen, um, menu-wise, also leave comments and I'll take a look at those as well. So we are having this piece of beautiful beef and it was a very nice piece steve managed to snag this it was 15 quid and he got it for six so we was very happy and it it cooked up and it was really really nice so i was very happy with this so I've, my father-in-law doesn't like garlic so obviously um i've used four cloves to go underneath <laughs> to go underneath the beef here <laughs> and it'll flavor the gravy as well nice piece look at that really was a nice piece and then the smaller onions i'll just put on the top to flavor that that side of the meat bit of pepper that one's ready to go so doing the stuffing my kids are not eating stuffing without blooming sausage in it now you know what i create a rad for my own back really they want the sausage meat in it so this time i didn't have any uh, bramley apple so this what this one i decided to put cumberland in i don't like cumberland sausages on their own for me they're a little bit um on the spicy side for what i like for just a basic sausage you know what i mean i like a lincolnshire sausage because it's herby i find the cumberland a bit too spicy for me um but i did put it into the 
stuffing and it was really really nice so yeah needless to say two pans of this stuffing disappeared because it had meat in it I tell you my kids anyway i've had a jump in subs so i just want to welcome all the new subscribers and thank you very much and to everybody because the views are jumping up as well on all three videos every week so i want to say thank you to everybody that's watching we really really do appreciate this also i want to wish a belated i forgot to do it last week and i do apologize craig but one of the subscribers i actually speak to all the time on instagram my brain is mush you know this craig so anyway it was his birthday last week and i forgot to give him a shout out so i do apologize craig and happy birthday for last week so there you go so there was a strawberry <clears throat> and cream cake i over whipped the cream a bit on purpose because i needed it to be stiffer because i was running out of time otherwise put in the um oh what do you call it these this is three layers so putting the strawberries on and the layers it would have just if I'd left it too soft, it was just slipped all over. So I whipped it just to that point. Just to that point before I had butter. <laughs> it's still nice and soft. <clears throat> so this one's the strawberry and cream cake. I find it a bit of Oh, my voice <clears throat> Steve will be happy if I lose it <laughs> <coughs> I'm finding it a bit of a struggle now to do everything on Sunday so I'm going to try and do the puddings on Saturday night like I did these these were all baked up Saturday night didn't take long and just put them together on a Sunday it did make it easier and also the Yorkshire puddings were already done because I did them on Friday and in the day in the life of my kitchen so they were already done so every little bit helps you know sometimes things get to be a bit of a bit of a struggle but we plod on and we keep going because if we don't i think that's the worst thing you can do isn't it just sit there and fester <laughs> fester <sighs> bit of leaf on my finger so all of this strawberry cake went yesterday yeah i know you guys are not probably not even surprised um so half was eaten at dinner and then obviously you know what i'm gonna say in-laws took the rest <laughs> um there's only really steve that would have ate the other half of that cake and he's not bothered he's more he's more savory so yeah it makes sense for the uh, in-laws to take it i mean mother-in-law she's a twig don't matter what she eats she's a twig it's it's disgusting really guys it really is I mean, this uh, Sunday dinner thing has been going now for about seven or eight years. And I've tried and tried and tried to fatten that woman up. And if I, I think she got skinnier. <laughs> Some people are just <clears throat> not meant to be chunky, are they? And she's one of them. No matter what I've fed her. And how much I put on a plate. So that's the strawberry one done, guys. There is a German chocolate one as well. The reason why there is two is because the father-in-law is an awkward beggar and won't eat chocolate, chocolate cakes. There's Belgian chocolate. I figure you use up what's left in this bottle. 
Only one piece of this went yesterday, so that the rest is still in the fridge. So, yes, we are dustbins, but we're not that bad. And they ain't went enough with my chocolate cake. I'm the chocolate holic in this house. <laughs> so, yeah, just showing you, putting some chocolate sauce on there. And cream. And then we're going to do just the same as what we did with the strawberry cake, but without the strawberries, obviously. Swapping that out for the Belgian chocolate sauce. Doing this actually reminded me of, um, when I put the cream on, reminded me of my ice cream. I've run out now. I need to get me, make myself some more. But I don't know what flavour to do next. You can leave me a comment as well, which flavour ice cream I should do next. And I don't like mint, so don't suggest mint. See, this is why I tried to use up what was left because there wasn't that much left in the bottle. It was just taking up space in my fridge. Oh my God. <clears throat> Excuse me, my voice. Oh, Steve will come back from the school run and I'll not be able to speak. He'll be thrilled. <laughs> Just scraping out the last of the cream. Last one. <laughs> I don't even know why I actually put this on the top because when I went to put the lid on this, it, it squished the top. <laughs> and it took that blooming sauce off anyway, so I don't know. <laughs> it's me trying not to waste out, look. So this week there's going to be extra video obviously because of the kasori and next week there may be an extra video as well so that's the strawberry with my ridiculous camera skills you can tell when it's me and when it's Steve <laughs> so yeah my stuffing your kiss, tender stem. You might see on the potatoes in a minute. There's the beef. Look, they started turning there and then it went black. Can you see? Anyway, I had to chuck all those and get the baby potatoes out. So there's carrots, cabbage and there's mash underneath. And you can see them baby potatoes at the side. Look, not my normal roasters. I was gutted. Gutted, man. But whatever. Still enjoyed my dinner. That stuffing was fab. That beef was really nice. Homemade Yorkshire's. Yeah, enjoyed it all. So thank you to all the new subs. Thank you to everyone who watches. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And leave your comments down below. Bye.